And now we're going to make the eye start with just a regular oval shape, a round shape. If I just click, here I go. And I'm going to make this white to create the sclera, which is the white part of your eye. I could insert another oval and click and drag inside my shape. If I want to keep it perfectly circular, I need to hold the shift key down while I do this. And then this is going to be my iris, and I'll go with a green eye today. And then inside there, I want to add my pupil. So again, back to the oval tool. I'm using the corners of my cursor. So there's one eye, and I usually like to add a little sparkle to my eye and make one tiny little circle inside there. I'm going to make that white, and there I have one of my eyes. Now normally I would make one, click and drag across to copy and paste it, and then I have two identical looking eyes. I might want to make another copy. I'm going to grab all of this again, and then I'm going to deselect the sclera by holding down the shift key and clicking the white part. Now I can move just the inside. Maybe I want my eye to look like it's looking down. And then I would duplicate that eye to make it look like my character is looking down and to its right. You could also make your sclera oval shaped. I'm gonna make that white again. And I'm just gonna use, I'm gonna hold my shift key down to click on these inside parts to copy and paste that. So I don't have to do that work all over again. And then I'm gonna try to line it up on my eye, hold the shift key down to keep this proportional. Maybe this needs to be a little bit bigger. And I could make my eye this way as well, again, duplicating it. I need to remember to select the whole thing. And this is why I put the eyes, I save the eyes till the end. There are a lot of small parts here, and it gets harder to move these pieces around as I add more smaller pieces. So once I had the eyes that I wanted, regardless of what shape I use, I'm just going to move all of these off to the side for now. Ultimately, my eyes would move over. They would lie in the very center of my face. These are quite large, so I'm going to make them a little bit smaller and line them up where I thought they should go. I'm going to deselect this left eye one piece at a time by holding down the shift key. Now they're aligned. That red line helps me line them up. And once you have these where you want them to be, maybe my nose will get moved over a teeny bit. There are your eyes and your face. Using my oval-shaped eyes, I'm going to show you how to add eyelids. Copied and pasted my white sclera. I'm going to drag it over to the side here for now. Then I went and grabbed, this would work with a circle as well, same concept. I went and grabbed my moon shape, and I'm going to click and drag my moon, make sure it's colored so I can see it temporarily. I would then take this moon and I would use the rotate feature to turn it clockwise 90 degrees. And now I'm going to line it up as centered as I can with the sclera behind it. And I'm just going to drag this and wait for those red lines to show up. And when I get to the other side, it should fit my shape. There we go. Use my format painter and click on that eyelid. And once I know it's the right shape and size, I'll move it over into place. And then I would simply copy and paste that and put it over the other eye to make it look a little more realistic. Feel free to add eyelashes and have fun with this drawing.